welcome to my channel this is a pick your cards reading for what does the universe wants to tell you so we have the green man as the first deck Ooh, I got this when I was in Switzerland that's good <laughs> and then the second card is this blue crystal I forgot what it is it might be calcite and then there's the third card with the amethyst feel free to share um, to share this video to people you like and choose what you want as your personal reading and I will see you this is your first card reading with Mr. Green Man Card is the five of pentacles as you can see um, it definitely shows that there's been a financial struggle because this is about in regards to money and you can see the symbolism on how it might be that you are struggling or you may have financial dire crisis and things like that the second card is um, Knights of Cups in reverse the way I put the meaning to this is how you've gotten uh, disappointing messages or disappointing news. The Using the Ramses Tarot card, the Seven of Wands is showing us that this lady is chewing and chasing out all the rats. So, like, for example, in your life, if you are choosing to look at the right um, angle or perspective in your life you would see that hey that's that doesn't belong here and those people are exploiting my uh, grains my valuables my um, so this is her produce she might own all of this produce in her home and um, she's chasing all the rats out so in comparison to the uh, first card where this woman is homeless, maybe struggling, financially dire, or, or just fallen in their grace. This woman is indoors, quite wealthy, having more than enough, having more than plenty, and learning to chase all the um, rats away, mice away, and recognizing that even though um, she has a lot of values, it doesn't mean that this pest, this mice, can stay and get um, to exploit all her uh, wealth because this is seven of wands um, it might because every tarot deck have a different meaning um, I'm implying that this is seven wands with a meaning let me see All right. Um, hmm. Leave. So, in the Rider Waite Tarot, this Seven of Wands is actually showing how the man is already well off, um, uh, or struggling because it's just surrounded by people who intimidates them intimidates him so this card the knave is actually the page i had to look it up um the the page of pentacles is about um uh what was it security um a newfound blessings, a newfound financial wealth, a newfound financial confidence, uh, financial opportunity. So there is some security in here. She's quite graceful. She has um, 
like a little throne there and um, that's the energy like um, seven of wands and knight was it page knave is page of coins and we have this card um, Imrama where you being called to journey to and to you're already doing it stop overthinking it keep facing the true north keep believing in what you perceive as a possibility because um, if you were uh, pursuing some new venture and it started off okay but it runs you down to the ground and you've been really really disappointed with the news that you've been receiving um, and you learn that this card and this card is actually quite similar in a way because um, this card is where you're already on 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 you're already on a good ground and what is missing is this clarity that you need to ground as your new belief because you're wealthy and you are higher than where everyone stands and with this card you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing through north you might come unsubconsciously <laughs> you might unconsciously and subconsciously um been letting other people compete with you but you know that no one is like you and there's nobody who can compete with you organically originally or authentically there's only one you and don't let other people use you as a bar to compete because they're not really improving themselves they're actually using other people as inspiration which is to you you inspire people so it's not really that you are below them is only because you don't see where you are so you need to reconnect to your reality and see that you're quite well off you're quite in a, um, a you're in certain ground it means like with certainty you know your worth your value your power but it seems that sometimes you you have this attitude of fighting with people who are not your equal which are mice, pests, toxic people, negative energy people um, this card is saying where are you being called to journey to so is there any anything in your mind that you want to do like for example for me I've been wanting to have a vacation um, I've been wanting to go out more I've been wanting to put more um, priority in socializing so if there is something that you want to do want to go and uh, go and do these things find out um, okay this card is called dignity if we compare with the first card here this person maybe have broken hopes maybe have um, some residue shame or shame or like pain this card says that hold your head up high and know that the unicorns are supporting you so the dignity may even be associated to this because the card of the Egypt woman lady mistress here she is on her throne and she might even be very wealthy with um this um it's not a hieroglyph but it's more like a painting of her ships maybe she owns all of these ships um this is a knight oh wait this is a page of pentacles there is this new venture new possibility new finances new income so you have to separate your shadows from the shadows of your past you have to level up your shadows to recognizing that who you are in the past doesn't necessarily are the person you are today 
whatever you're ashamed or embarrassed of in the past, you don't have to bring it in the day to day because you can have dignity today because look at how far you've come. Look at how much you've grown. Look at how much you've learned. So be very grateful and feel gratitude and bless that circumstances have changed for you from having a financial dire or circumstances that was breaking your spirit to make you feel like you are struggling and with with the negative news that came in the past that would disappoint you and you um, have this shift and transformation where you learn to become aware of your environment and knowing your worth knowing when to chase out people from your life um necessarily like for me it was very hard because they keep coming back like you know rodents mice they keep coming back like toxic people they are desperate they only see you as their only source so this mice or rodents or um like you know toxic people or energy vampire they only see you as the source until you learn to step up into your power and refuse to let them um, exploit or feed off of your uh, prosperity or wealth and that's when you really get this ability to um, center your energy in a certainty you are very certain that you can protect your values and you can start investing your values into the future to create a new income or to create any new sources of prosperity and you can have your dignity back and your unicorn is saying this is a closeness your unicorn is very close to you so with dignity hold your head up high and know the unicorns are supporting you okay so with the goddess card, what comes up is Kuan Yin Compassion. It says here, release judgment about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So I understand this in a way that there comes a time where we cannot keep on battling this darkness. It comes a time where you learn what, um, what you're vulnerable and what other people are vulnerable with and you will see that um, people who project to you their negativity doesn't necessarily is yours when you already know who you are so having compassion having a compassion to people who are um, having their demons or darkness even though you may not be able to do it directly, you don't have to shower them with psychic um, energy attacks or psychic um, toxicity. And you can just um, bless, pray, or just carry a light, a divine light for them, like a candle of flame to just be in a state of compassion and letting the people who may have threatened intimidate or hurt you to go on their own path so in here lakshmi says bright future stop worrying everything is going to be fine so some some of you if you've been struggling with your finances having bad news and having no growth or having to um fight fight the rodents or toxic or energy vampires in your life it might seem that it's hard to, to see a bright future but there was once a time in your life where you believe in your potential you believe in your capabilities but having a lot of negative things might happen to you in the past it might have really affected your sense of belief and judgment so even though things have been rough for you know that this certainty of your wealth confidence security can come true and that um, learning to release negative judgment about people um, at the same time understanding that 
you don't have to fall into victim you don't have to fall into gullible or naivety if people try to fool you you don't have to um you don't have to play that role um you can carry compassion for their malevolent agenda and just brush them away and know that if your internal vibration and belief is strongly rooted in fairness and ju in justice um, life can move on even if it hurts for you to move on knowing that someone has hurt you you can resonate with a different vibration the last card with our um, angel of Atlantis is Zakiel, Archangel Zakiel, and Archangel Shamel, which is security and serenity. So here is peace and prosperity, in other words, <laughs> security. So do you feel secure? Because you're about to feel very secure if you're choosing this number one card. I, if you resonate to this card reading, um, there is security and serenity, which I feel like maybe this has been something that you've been working for. And what I'm getting is like within these two months from the day that you might read this, might venture cross path with my reading here, security and serenity in two months. Because I believe there has been a shift, like there's a big ending phase, completing shift. Um, over like every nine years there is a, com a complete cycle so if things been rough for you and you have not been feeling secure or serene there is a seed of security and serenity for you but just remember that you will need to keep on um, developing your personal belief and faith and work on what you feel is true if you need to be somewhere find out where you need to be and start making plans to get there and don't doubt your passion or worth or purpose because if you're already doing it you keep facing your true north keep doing your um idyllic version of happiness only you know who you're only you know what makes you happy so if you can learn to trust your intuition and learn to trust your own judgment over other people's hey say or other people's um, opinions feedbacks criticisms just let all of this version of your life rest only you can control your own authentic version of your life other people's idea of you are not a representative a representing true reality of who you are so i hope that um this reading empowers you and guides you to believe that there is always change and growth and security and serenity that you've been really really longing for is in the way it's in the way because you also get bright future and compassion yes so we are going to the next card reading the green the blue i think this is calcite okay the first one is the three and blue two cups lovers Right, to those of you who have chosen the second lot of card readings, um, welcome, let's see what you have. The first card is a victory. So it seems to be that you may have completed some triumph or journey or you've recently achieved something and um, and you have the moon card which is maybe an emotionally 
an emotional time for you um, so it feels like your heart is quite large it's like your heart is quite um, gigantic like you're really feeling achieved um, funny this two cards this two cups and the lovers actually have a same sentiment usually is like a um, two of cups is a reunion celebration a marriage a um, and then suddenly you know the lovers with this is like you actually are engaged are you guys engaged <laughs> it feels like it feels like um, it, this feels like a romantic thing because you see this card there's this friendship Uriel card um, so I can only say what I resonate with with the card right now it feels as if like um, two people becomes one or there's a lot of is it romantic relationship it's more like a partnership or a union some kind of it feels like celebration celebration right and then we get this two cards from the um rebecca campbell's what your light it says who or what is triggering you and don't dim to fit in how are you diminishing your light in order to fit in so here this might be one of your insecurity or vulnerability or ego it's as if that your partnership may trigger your insecurity your partnership may trigger your um, self-esteem or your not your trying not to outshine your partner or you're not you're trying not to outshine other people if this is not about your partner um mirror what who or what is triggering you and maybe is somebody telling you to to dim your light is someone telling you to change or is someone telling you or expecting you not to do what you love not to be the person you are just because you are now in a partnership that you have to start decreasing the level of your self-worth that is not what relationship is about relationship is not about decreasing the level of your self-worth in order to fit in if you have some emotions this card and this card if you have some emotions that feels very um, if you are very emotional and you feel as if you have to um, shrink your feelings so that you fit in you have to look back in why are you changing for someone why are you changing for love love means you don't have to change love means you are accepted for who you are but what are you doing changing or decreasing your um because it says you don't dim to fit in <sighs> what are you doing that you are changing who you are for love this is like two of cups you can see that the couple can also see this is called the lover's card why are you changing for love love means that you are love for who you are not love for someone you're not so check with your mirror check in with yourself are you doing what you want are you being who you are or are you just changing your personality to fit other people's expectation of you again i say um people's idea of you is not a representation of your true reality make sure that if you are in a relationship they know who you are not their expectations of you because people's expectation of you may not be a true a true um, version of the sun like there's always like a uv light or uh you know like there's many different type of lights there's sunlight there's the indoor lighting <laughs> so just just to get you to see the truth um make sure that your relationship 
even though there is a milestone or a um, like you know you've gone to the next level that you don't change your beliefs about who you are you don't let your relationship rule your personality or identity that when you step into your relationship you're actually um, being more authentic with your feelings so it's a challenge here for you to really set the right emotion with whichever achievements that you've had with maybe like if it's not about romantic relationship are you changing yourself in order to fit a certain industry career or uh, a new like going into a new job you're changing something just make sure that you're not being influenced by your peers you don't uh, be afraid to outshine others just because there's something extra about you the unicorn cards here say soul purpose act on your soul purpose today and archangel gabriel call in the pure white light so here it says that you might be working on your passion so if you're working on your passion or your calling or your purpose it says here that the first inspiration or spark of inspiration that you feel in your heart or feel in your uh, mind take action to it soul purpose and if you need some help call archangel gabriel to help guide you in what you, task or steps you need to do in order to take action to keep moving to your soul purpose so for example today what i'm actually doing is doing my first pick a card reading and um in the middle of it i was feeling a little bit um, overwhelmed because i don't know how to get the camera set up right so i just call my angels i say the universe you have put me in this situation where i have all these decks out and all these cards set up but i am struggling a little bit on my camera and my phone i don't know which one and i don't have my memories so i call angels and it seems that it applies here soul purpose act on your soul purpose today archangel gabriel is calling in the pure white light right so if you have a lot of things to do the green car the green tara says start delegating ask others including me to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself and is shell medicine woman says you are a channel for divine healing power so i'm not totally sure how this may relate to all of this yet but the green tara energy with delegation if there is a celebration if there is a um like a party that you're doing because in september i thought there was going to be some kind of a party or a small reunion or a small celebration so if you are having some party you can start believing that you can you can share this idea with people and delegate your task maybe you are preparing for a marriage or you're preparing for um hey. <laughs> You, there is some achievement that you need to prepare either it's work based business based relationship based a friendship based there is something that you are doing is child medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power so um to relate to all of this card it seems that the medicine woman is coming up in this energy to guide you to believe in your um inner desire that your desires are uh, able to be cultivated that your desires can come into action that you must believe that you are a channel of divine power um, to use the energy of this medicine woman to harness whatever magic law of attraction miracles that you need in order to carry this celebration energy because it seems that you are celebrating something or you're planning to celebrate something so if you are celebrating something you need to believe that what you're celebrating is actually very worth very worth the 
divine healing channeling of power of of manifestation it seems that this is not like this is something that you foresee happening this card is something you foresee happening this card is something that you may struggle with like emotional imbalances or instability and um the two of cups here and as well as the lovers card it seems that there is a path that you need to choose not just about relationship or celebrating or engagement or union but you need to choose a path and you need to see where you're going with that with knowing that you're not shrinking you're not changing who you are to fit in and if you have some inspiration ideas in order to propel your desire or action or ambition or passion, you can do it with the help of Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is also the Archangel of a messenger. So Archangel Gabriel can connect to you, connect to Archangel Gabriel and ask for a message or guidance so that you can be alerted or informed of your next step. The last two cards is the friendship and real power. We have the Archangel Uriel, Archangel Hanael. So it seems that maybe if you are celebrating something, um, for me, I, th I thought that this month I'm going to restart my meetup group and I might want to make new friends and the desire to cultivate a new community, a new friendship society of the things that people who love what i do so it may seem that um there will be achievement and celebration when you um carry the values of friendship and this willpower where you believe in your power because it seems that you might need to work with the medicine woman to manifest um what you desire as something that you want to celebrate in the current moment and know that if you want to do something you can share the workload you can um, build a community and start uh, connecting the dots or connecting um, like you know holding hands with the people who wants to be your team and then you can really build this strong um, celebration of people coming together so I guess it's not just a lovers is not just for uh, romance but also for friendship and this two of cups is like coming together friendship so don't change yourself in order to make new friends <laughs> that might also be um, another reminder for you guys about mirror and don't dim to fit in don't change yourself in order to make friends <laughs> because that's not being authentic so um, I guess that's it for the second uh, the second card the reading for the second card so thank you this is the third card okay so everything's doing very well just continuing the reading this is the amethyst hello beautiful amethyst thank you for being here first the third last card is this card three of cups and five of wands We have two abundance here. <laughs> abundance and abundance. So when everybody who's chosen the third card, you have a lot of abundance. Okay, let's begin. Right, so we have this Hierophant. Anybody religious in the house? Anyone religious in the house? Um, when this Hierophant when this hierophant card comes up, it reminds us that traditional way is more acceptable or more nourishable or more... Um, um, hierophant is like religion and tradition. 
And this card is really depressive. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of... It, it feels as if you've left religion. Has anybody felt like they need to leave their religion based on any type of um, bondage or... I'm only saying bondage because this card is break the chain. <laughs> <laughs> but this card, if I associate it to um, the devil, uh, terror is, is the devil. But is, has anybody f feel like they left their religion because they're very disappointed or they're very heartbroken that the religion does not give them a sense of security or sense of peace? Let's continue to the next card before we delve into the uh, more sadness of the first two cards. Three of Cups and Five of Wands. So let me remember what's Five of Wands in in the in the thingy. Oh, it's like a fight. Okay, so Five of Wands is usually about quarrels quarrels but right here it just shows this that's a hawk right this is the Ramses card this wands and this feels like you've lost something like you've lost some faith it, it, can, it can actually like <laughs> It can actually make sense because this is about faith, tradition, religion. But this Three of Cups is quite a good omen. Like it says, uh, also a form of celebration, a more home based celebration. The cards from Rebecca Campbell, Work Your Light, says here Break the Chain, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewriting the Future, and on. And Mintakan is a longing for home belonging the original light workers. It's as if that you feel very abandoned by your religion. Do you feel abandoned by your religion? Do you feel like your religion your religion do not connect to your authentic heart's soul purpose or soul longingness? Because it feels as if you do not resonate to the religion of the earth. And you feel like you have to walk alone in a path to pursue your highest calling or your it's like you don't feel like any religion could bring you a sense of peace so you might go off on your own way trying to find yourself and trying to put meaning on your purpose on this earth oh i just want to send you a lot of good hugs <laughs> You're not alone a lot of people do feel that they're alone so come here like longing for home like if you are longing for home this might make sense to all of you who feels like you are a vagabond because when i was younger a teenager i felt like i was a vagabond a vagabond is a person who has like totally no home and they're just walking around like on earth just like this person a vagabond mm. look at how somber that this is the first time i recognize how somber the moon is like even the moon is giving solace to this poor guy like poor person like you're not poor like if you ha if you pick the number three card with the amethyst you are stronger than you know longing for home belonging the original light workers like for me like if i'm the original light worker i definitely feel like i've been doing this alone and it's really lonely it, it really hurts to not have anybody to trust but I believe that um, with the completion of this cycle, like the, the nine year cycle, you can choose to build your tribe. You can find home. You can find home. Hey guys, I am back. My battery died. Okay, so we stopped at exactly here to break the chain and mintakan. <clears throat> in this card, um, also I was like reviewing what I recorded just now and I realized that 
do you feel like your religion is actually suppressing who do you want to be so if your religion is suppressing who you want to be um, it might have been that you've left what you perceive as your birth religion or your birth beliefs <clears throat> so that you can break the chain and find yourself but now you may be longing for home uh, longing for belonging and trying to find your way to your truth so in the energy of mean token it really connects back uh, to the next card is freedom is freedom and it says here let the unicorn set you free so it's quite true that our belief system can trap us in a reality that doesn't allow us to have freedom or laughter our reality can trap us so you have to learn to break the chain and find your own truth make your own belief um, in one of the healing I did for myself you can choose what to believe if you can reset all of the negative and positive beliefs in my in your life and you can choose what you choose to believe choose what you believe you don't have to be forced to believe or follow other people's belief but make your own empower your own beliefs you don't have to be riddled oppressed influenced by other people's belief which is why perhaps this card uh, wait this card where um, in the traditional rider weight it's like uh, y you are fighting with other people to to stay on top or you're fighting with other people to it's like you are your beliefs are being challenged the traditional the, your traditional upbringing is challenging your beliefs and um you have your own life you seek you you have your own vision of your life but the tradition is um, putting a lot of weight on and leaning on to you like your tradition is leaning on to you that you cannot break the mold so so in order to break the mold you need to break the chain so if you need to break the chain of your any previous beliefs that doesn't support your happiness or doesn't support your freedom you will have to have faith to choose what you believe in rather than being challenged by other people's belief except that is what they believe but you have your own choices to make in your life because other people's definition of your reality is not defined by their energy it is defined by your energy freedom and laughter it shows here that laughter attracts unicorns it shows here that so much energy where it's like even 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 if i bring this una easy, easy does it it says there is no need to hurry or force things to happen everything is occurring in the perfect timing freedom laughter so easy does it you don't have to fight anymore because if you if i pull out the other card from the rider weight i will it will show you exactly how you're fighting unnecessarily um here oh wait that's not it another one. Oh, it's not that one okay it's not that you're fighting unnecessarily it's more like um it's like you don't see eye to eye 
and everybody's trying to be right. This is five for one. This is also five for one, but it's Egyptian tarot in Ramses card. You don't see eye to eye because you don't have the same beliefs. But it doesn't have to be that way. You just listen to other people's belief without implying that you are forced to believe it. Let go of other people's belief. Let go of other people's um, choices. Other people cannot choose what you believe. Let go of other people's definition of you. Let go of other people's let go of other people's perception, definition, feelings about who you are. There's no one in the world who can fully control other people. When they perceive that they're controlling other people, they're actually projecting their self incontrollable. Because they cannot control themselves, they control other people. And how they want to control other people by forcing the beliefs onto the person they are quarreling with because they don't see eye to eye, they want to win. So they force that belief onto other people. But if you can take what this goddess says, easy does it. When you just release the struggle, and when you just allow people to believe what they want to believe and then just reflect deeper in yourself and recognize what you choose to believe despite what other people to believe. If you believe you look good in pink, then wear pink. If you believe you look good in black, you wear black. If other people hate you wearing black, that's their belief, that's their fear. And that comes back to the tradition. Um, me growing up in Chinese, we're not supposed to wear black because it brings bad luck. And my cat is meowing. So, so, the traditional beliefs may not support your freedom or your happiness because laughter is happiness. But choose to accept that traditional belief was once long time ago rejected by people because it is a very new thing. Change is imminent. So when you make your own beliefs, um, you break the chain. When you change what you believe, you break the chain. And you change your world. And you can, you can start surrounding yourself with the people who have the same beliefs as you, who have the same values as you, who have the same joy, happiness, laughter as you. Um, in this oracle card, Goddess Una, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. There is no reason to fight other people's belief. And even if they expect you to fight what they believe, it is not your battle. They are challenged by the presence of your faith. It is not you. It is them. But when you yourself are challenged by other people's beliefs, it is not them, it is you. Everyone is triggered by each other's fear and faith. But only until you recognize your beliefs are your choice and not influence or force by tradition, by people arguing or not looking eye to eye with the same perspective, because this is people who are on the same level but do not see eye to eye because there's many ways to do things. There's many ways to roam. And this card is saying maybe there's competition in your life. Mm. Maybe there has been a competition in your life that you feel like people are competing competing for abundance 
What is this? Surrender. So, Una. Where is Una? This Una? I think Una easy does it and surrender. It actually says, chill, relax. Ah, that makes sense. Relax. Whatever you want, relax into what you want. You don't have to fight for what you want. Relax. Surrender your desires and don't hurry or force what you desire to happen. Make a wish. Let it go. Have faith. Because whatever you desire, it will come to you in perfect timing, as this card says. And the abundance, you real abundance, and abundantia, abundantia, prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receive. So I think this is about roots. Like, this is about security or wealth. This is like the cycle, omega and alpha. It's as if the tradition, maybe, maybe you don't have a traditional way of making money because a lot of people are going more into least traditional way. Like people are using Instagram for businesses. People are um, finding other ways to earn an income. So maybe what makes you happy and your um, choices to find what makes you happy, where you belong, it doesn't have to depend on other people's perception but you may be lost in what other people do how other people behave what they say you may you might be lost in other people's perception of what's right and wrong and that's why you walk away feeling very sad but here you have a very very uplifting card of freedom and laughter let's see if you can see that yes here you have freedom and laughter and abundance and both of this card is abundance. Abundance in both of these cards and freedom and laughter. So The ending of this card with the card uh, surrender and it's as if that because you are trying to force something to happen and you won't let go it's very hard for abundance to come through because you're controlling it with fear maybe that's why you have to learn to release your fear and just relax into your desires relax into what you want like, you know, when a flower blossom, it doesn't force itself to blossom. It takes it divine, its divine time. Whatever you want in your life, I know. For example, I, don't, I, I thought I have patience, but it seems that I may not have. So when you surrender the outcome, and you just focus on what you want to do, and you keep working on breaking the chain, like whatever negative patterns that you can um, bear to heal daily or weekly or monthly, whatever you see, which is one of your vulnerability or ego or fear, work with it and surrender to the outcome, knowing that the divine is always taking care of you. And you don't have to like everyone is their own enemy so if you are your own enemy and you've been sabotaging yourself just take it easy and just surrender to having faith that everything will fall into place and 
if you've been forcing yourself to receive abundance or forcing abundance to come to you maybe you can change your ways and find a way to get freedom and laughter and then you can get abundance like recharge your fun personality and go and have fun and and release this excessive obsession over being responsible it's okay to release responsibility in a way that you're not obsessive or obsessing over doing the right thing all the time like trying to take the um, right path because you're making decisions based on your sadness like this person is walking away from what makes their heart content maybe you're not seeing maybe the religious influence you had as a child was not the true religion it was not it was practiced by people of ego not by people of faith of love so forgive those people who have re used religion to control you to dominate you or to make you very um, guilty for having desires that doesn't meet other people's expectations because you you long for a home because it might seem that people don't understand what makes you happy it doesn't mean that it's it's not right for you just because people don't understand your heart it doesn't mean that you should stop doing it to make other people happy and content and satisfied it doesn't mean that if you are an artist, you are surrounded by people who are valuing science or accountancy or doctor. It doesn't mean your desire or happiness is wrong. It only means that they don't have the compassion to understand what you love, what you put as importance, what makes you free, what makes you happy. So even if you don't see eye to eye with the people who you grew up with or people who influence you in your life, know that there is still room for compassion, room for love, room for um, growth. Just respect that's what they don't believe and it doesn't have to affect you. And I know it's easier said than done, but... So sometimes you just have to accept that people people may say certain things with a good desire or intention in their heart or maybe not because they're trying to force you to see their way but Largely, nobody knows every single thing that is right. So it's possible that even though their intention might be pure or in your eyes are very forceful because they're trying to make you um, stick to the path known rather than sticking to the path unknown. Oh, that's cool. Like the hierophant is sticking to the traditional path rather than this card is making your own path even if you have to take your own path and um, start to prove to yourself that what you believe is important to you at the same time people are arguing with you that you shouldn't be doing that or you shouldn't take that path it doesn't mean that is wrong it doesn't mean that other people's perception is wrong as well Everybody is right in their own way if they just implement their own advice in their own life. And if certain people resonate to these advices that traditional is given, then great. Take that advice and implement it in your life. But if it doesn't, you can you can find a way to feel freedom and your happiness so that abundance will always be provided but you don't have to feel sad that people don't see eye to eye with you and you don't you don't, you, you just break the chain 
um, like if I apply this hierophant card to this break the chain, ancestral patterns could be religious beliefs, healing could be um, whatever trauma or um, discord you have with religion or beliefs or other people's belief and rewriting the future it could be that you're trying to make your own way in life but the fights are really hard on you so if you learn to surrender and take it easy and find a way to feel happy and free I guess the word here is like stop carrying the burden of other people's unhappiness stop carrying the burden of other people's happiness and believe that there's always enough even though it's so hard to do that when you're feeling down but believe that there's always enough that abundance is yours even though it might not seem so but I'm so sure that when it's time you'll receive all the due abundance that you're meant to have all the abundance you're meant to have you will receive so your sadness your emptiness your broken faith and you you might see that it's not working but if you keep believing and respecting everybody's belief and don't apply it to yourself if it doesn't uh, resonate but you know wish every person who are competing for your beliefs or competing um, to be right they don't have to compete to be right they are right you're right as well there's so many ways to see life there's so many ways to receive abundance there are so many ways to be providing to the society there's so many ways to be of service to the earth to, to this planet and life just chill relax surrender you're gonna be all right so i hope that you like it i hope this reading helps you see in so much ways how um you can release that burden away with your ability to take it easy to <coughs> take it easy take life easy don't be so sad all the time because like even if people don't see eye to eye with you what you see what you feel and if you feel lonely and you long for people who share the same beliefs as you call upon it call upon people using archangel zafkiel and uriel call upon um what you need Call Archangel Uriel to give you abundance in areas of life that you need abundance. Friendship, loyalty, um, family, tribe. And ask Archangel Zafiel to help you surrender so you can receive this abundance. Okay, people. I definitely hope all of these readings have helped you see in a positive light what you need to know this is my first pick your cards reading i hope that it's been very helpful to you um like this video subscribe if you haven't this is the first one this is the second one Oh yeah, this is the first one. Not the first one. Hmm. So, goodbye everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care.